speakers. Speakers are more or less what's considered the end all be all for most audiophiles because headphones, while they are amazing, speakers do things that headphones cannot. And I respect that and I understand that. However, I am more of a headphone guy, or at least, uh, at least I have more experience with headphones because I, uh, first off, uh, don't have infinite money. Uh, I don't have the space. And uh, I live in an apartment, which means that there are people there and there and there. So I can't be loud. Headphones, I can be loud because no matter how loud I play them, no one else is going to hear them but me and, or if someone was, you know, next to me, maybe. So for a long time, these were the only speakers I had. Uh, I have some more now and I will get to those, but this is gonna be my first review. This is a pair of Vanatu T-Zeros or Transparent Zeros. And Vanatu, or Vanatu, if you wanna be fancy, uh, I think it really is Vanatu. Uh, they made the T-1s, then they made the T-Zeros, which were smaller and uh, somehow kind of almost as good, if not better. And they made the T-1 Encores, which are amazing, apparently, I've heard. I haven't actually heard the encores yet. So, they're small. They're small. They're so little. And these, I have been running on my TV and with my setup for my, uh, my, stere my stereo, for my turntable there. Uh, because these are a little power monitor set. Ooh, fancy. It, this is kind of scary back here, but it's really not that bad. You have power. This is not actually ethernet. It uses a similar connection to connect to its kind of, you know, secondary speaker here, speaker here. USB connection, optical connection, analog connection, subwoofer out. This I think is funny, but we'll get to that. These also take Bluetooth. So I run these, they, you know, they have a little power brick plugs in there and I plug an optical in here right from my TV. I know optical only does 24, 192 or whatever, but I don't care. It's off my TV. I, I don't really need to have super high, super high res for everything. For not. They come with a nice little cloth grip. Magnet. Very nice. These are built solidly. They're heavy-ish. Little volume knob here. Ooh, fancy. So they have connection for a remote. Another reason these are great for a TV. Remote, and they plug directly in with optical. Just plug and play, and they just work. A little four inch woofer, silver, looks beautiful, and this little dome tweeter and then a passive radiator. That passive radiator, which if you don't know passive radiators, is uh, it kind of does what a port does, um, but without being open. It basically has a, a woofer with no magnet in it, no motor, so it can just move with the air that's moving inside of the cabinet to increase your bass response. So I think it's funny that there's a sub out, because you don't need it, because these kick ass. Legitimately, these sh if I do turn them up, these do shake my floor, legitimately. And they are very transparent and very airy. They really have amazing imaging and soundstage. They can make sounds when they're at my TV. They can make sounds over there and over there. I don't know how, but they do. Also, I ran them on the floor angled upward like this, and they actually sound really, really good. They actually angled up enough from where I was that it basically put people's voices right around where their mouth was. It was it was a little off, like an inch or two down, but good enough. They have a little carrying handle. And if you want to, you can do that to make them straight facing. And they even came with this handy little cushion for them, they each do. Aww. And it says Vanatu. It's so cute. This is the other speaker just has a connection to its parent I guess same exact thing in every other regard it also doesn't have the IR receiver there 
These are about $350, which is not cheap, but for that price, you get a pair of, of speakers you can put anywhere because they are tiny. They have more bass than they have any right to have. I know that they're DSPing, they have to be DSPing uh, to help, but they also have that stupid passive radiator. So they have more bass than they have any right to. They have very, very good sound staging imaging. They're very transparent. They don't, you do not hear the sound coming from them specifically ever. And the ease of use is ridiculous because for 350 bucks, you get very good speakers with a remote that can take in wire, Bluetooth, digital, and analog. And they're self-amped. So you don't need anything else. You, these are a plug and play solution. And I think if anyone needs speakers, or if they're thinking about like a sound bar or something, these are actually better than a sound bar. I, I guarantee you that. And they're better than any other thing I can think of really right now as a just starting point, plug and play solution. Plug into the wall, plug something in that you wanna run and just start it and it just works. The remote is worth mentioning. Volume here will adjust volume out of that. But once you use the remote, you kind of override that. So they, they don't work in tandem, it's kind of annoying. So I just set it to a level and then ignored it basically and used this. The remote feels very high quality. It just, it's, it's this weird material that just feels super, I, I can't describe it, it just feels light and I like holding it. <laughs> so you have mute, volume up and down, Bluetooth, USB, optical, coaxial and analog connection. The coax, I think you can actually run coax. Can you run coax? I don't know if it, huh, it says coax. That's a good question. I don't think you actually can run coax on these. I don't see any. Interesting. Unless you can run through the subwoofer. That'd be interesting. I run it and I run an auto, the auto button and where it just detects signal and then plays that one usually works the only time i've had issues is sometimes if i have the turntable turned on but not playing and the tv on and playing it sometimes will select one even if it's the not playing one and then stay there which it, it's like receiving something enough to keep it on it's a little weird but then you have this little cluster here which lets you control if you hit this like this function button, you can up and down your treble and bass independently, which is cool, but I don't do it. You can boost the bass up even more or down, increase your treble or re reduce it if you want. Um, and I highly suggest if you buy these looking at the manual and reading it, but it actually is kind of stupid because there's pages and pages and pages and pages of actually all the configuration you can do because this thing has a lot of weird DSP stuff and it will let you change all of it. But you have to do it through this weird conglomeration of button presses and this weird order and Rube Goldberg and pull the lever and you know take a shot of tequila and you'll up three decibels of the 20 kilohertz range. I don't know. I don't mess with it. Out of the box honestly sounds amazing and I don't feel the need to change it. It's got plenty of bass, so much good bass, clean bass too. And then very clear, very transparent, very accurate, everywhere above bass. So I don't feel the need to change anything about it. Sometimes for fun, I tweak the bass or treble a little bit just to see what I can do. But other than that, I, I, I'll do up like one, two, three, see what it's like, okay, cool, one, two, three down, back to what it was. So I can't recommend these enough. The only issue yeah, for me is, ooh, that's a problem, but we'll get to that. For now, just pretend that I didn't show you that and just, these are, these are the entry, I think, for everyone who's scared of the expense or the confusion of the, the many parts that you need for speakers, all in one plug and play solution. This is it. This is what you get.